Praise the Lord, praise the Lord, dear Christian friends. Peace be unto you. I would like to thank you once more for allowing me into your homes this Tuesday morning, a very beautiful morning God has given us. As we share together the word of God in this devotion, please let us pray. Precious Lord, precious Savior, we are once more before your presence this morning, thanking you and inviting you to be present with us as we share your word together. Please reveal yourself to us in this devotion in Jesus' name. Amen. My dear Christian friends, this morning, I want to speak to you on the theme, COVID-19 demands our fervent prayers. COVID-19 demands our fervent prayers. And the text for our meditation is the Gospel according to St. Luke, chapter 22, verse 44. Luke 22 verse 44 let's hear the word of god and being in anguish he prayed more earnestly and his sweat was like drops of blood falling to the ground this is the word of god dear christian friends prayer is a pouring out of the deepest emotions of our being to God, pouring out of our deepest emotions of our being to God. Prayers begin with knowing that in Jesus we are more worthy to come before God in prayer. And this is found in Hebrews 4, 14 and 16. And believing that our gracious God hears every word and that he desires to respond to us according to his good nature and will. In prayer, we can be assured that God hears us. For in the Bible, we read from Psalm 3 verse 4, I cried unto the Lord with my voice, and he heard me out of his holy here. Again, in Psalm 55, verse 17, we read, Evening and morning and at noon will I pray and cry aloud, and he shall hear my voice. And again, 1 John chapter 5, verse 14 says, And this is the confidence that we have in him, that if we ask anything according to his will, he hears us. My brothers and sisters, fathers and mothers, it was prayer that set Jacob free after he wronged his brother Esau. Genesis 32, 9 to 12. And when Jesus was faced with a very difficult death, he prayed on Mount of Olives until his sweat became like drops of blood. Jesus labored because he knew what was ahead of him. There will always be stubborn mountains to be crossed, and therefore, there is the need for fervent prayers to help us cross the one we have at our hand today, and that is COVID-19. The point I'm making is this. There are always stubborn mountains we need to cross, and one of such is COVID-19. And because of COVID-19, we need to have fervent prayers every day all the time again we have another example and that example comes from 1 kings 
18, 42 to 44. And that example shows us or talks about the prophet Elijah who went to the top of Mount Carmel to pray for rain. Elijah prayed and prayed until the seventh time before he received signs. This is what the scriptures meant by pray without season. 1 Thessalonians 5, 16 to 18. Prayer is what I admonish you to engage in on a daily basis as we continue to face the pandemic. Pray fervently and pray to God. And remember that the easiest remedy that most people have found in times of calamities, difficulties, is to pray ceaselessly to God for a much needed divine intervention. What is happening to us today, it's something we cannot face with our own strength. And that is why we need divine intervention. We must, however, be sure that our prayers are backed by faith and in total surrender and trust, especially in times when we are at our weakest. Today, the world seems to be collapsing. We don't have answers, and this is the time we need to pray through faith. It is a prayer of utter dependence and submission that is needed today. Believing our God is sovereign and our God is good and is ready to help us. Dear Christian friends, this is not a time for imprecatory prayer. That means this is not the time for us to pray invoking God's judgment on the wicked and to destroy the so-called evil people. In the face of evil, we are able to approach the throne of grace with prayers of petition and faith and with full confidence that God is sovereign over all and he will work all things together for his glory and for our good. My dear Christian friends, what I'm saying this morning to you is that COVID-19 or coronavirus demand our fervent prayers. We need to go on our knees every morning, every afternoon, every evening, every night to pray to God, to ask him to commit ourselves into his hands and to plead with him to visit us once more and to take away this disease from us, this pandemic from us. I would like to end this morning's brief devotion by admonishing all of you to continue praying for one, the nation and its leadership our president, his ministers, a cabinet and ministers, and for the frontline workers, our nurses, doctors, and all those who are out there to help us overcome this pandemic. I also want to admonish you to pray for the church, which is shut for the last nine weeks. Pray for families who are having challenges due to the disease. And finally, pray for yourself and pray for your family. Let us all together pray and pray and pray until we overcome this disease, this pandemic, and until God hears us from above and comes down to save us. Let us pray. Father, in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, we want to thank you 
that you are ever ready to listen to our prayers and to our cries as we call upon you to come down and to help us. Your children are waiting for you to descend and to speak. Just utter a word and we know COVID-19 will vanish. We want to thank you and commit all our people into your hands, even as they start a new day. Bless them and bless all of us in Jesus' name. Amen.